Good morning and assalamu alaikum from Medina. Alright, where are we off to, guys? Now we are going inshallah to Masjid Qiblatain. Oh, Masjid Qiblatain, nice. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Suleiman. I am from Sal International Team. So today uh, I will show you a little bit about Masjid uh, Qiblatain. Uh, so now we are going in, inshallah to this uh, masjid. This is the masjid that uh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prayed inside. And the, the Qibla changed it in this salah. So before was the Qibla to Jal Salam side. Now is the Qibla is to Kaaba side inshallah. So let's go inside. So now we are inside the Masjid of Qiblatain. Uh, inshallah, bi'ithnillah, this Masjid, now is it new style, not like a before. So like 25 years before they make it this in this new style. So this is, uh, just look at uh, in the top, this is the old the Qibla. So in this top, the Sahaba radiallahu anhum and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was standing here and they was praying to Jerusalem side. So in during Salah, they changed it. When the revolutions come, they changed Qibla to Al Kaaba side. So from that moment to today, we are praying that side, Alhamdulillah, to Kaaba side. So this masjid is special because of two Qibla. So this is a small garden in Masjid Qiblatain. Yeah, in place of drinking water. Uh, oh, that's right. There's the drinking water, guys, right yeah, there. And you people see. is going down for making wudu. Awesome. For the PR. It's very nice. Just came from Masjid Qiblatain. How was your experience? I mean, alhamdulillah, very nice. Very nice. Learn, learning lessons. Yeah. How was it on the sister oh, side? Sister. How, how, how was it on the sister side, Masjid Qiblatain? Were you guys able to see the two Qiblas? We were not able to see the two Qiblas. There was a piece of paper that said Qibla. That's, that's oh, it. wow, okay. I tried okay. to see the other side, but I couldn't find it. Okay, okay. We'll show you guys on the video. I figure. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Sorry, sorry. Wait. She looked like... Not, not, not. No, no, you let me go. Oi, oi, oi. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. They don't know, they have no <laughs> They just don't care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Masjid uh, Seven Mosque. It's called Seven Mosque and uh, is fam famous from this name. But it's called uh, Jami' Al Khandaq. Uh, this place is very famous because of Belt of Khandaq. The Muslim faced the Mushrikeen in this area in this uh, time. Uh, the facing was different. They fight it with them. They make it a very big, uh, deep hole, and they all went inside to hide them uh, from Mushrikeen. Also, special thing about this area is uh, Jabal Uhud. This uh, mountain have a feelings like this uh, mountains love us all Ummah of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and we are loving this mountain. And this mountain will be with us in Jannah, Inshallah. Oh, Subhanallah. Yeah, Subhanallah. only this mountain. In only the this mountain. Wow, oh, Subhanallah. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is the area of built Uhud. So uh, now we are in this area, and this is uh, Jabal Al Ramh. This is called Jabal Al Ramh, and here was the Ghazwa. So in this mountain is a special thing that the Sahaba was uh, standing in the top and this mountain is used for a fight for, with Mishrikeen with group of Khalid bin Walid. So Khalid bin Walid that time was not Muslim. So after this fight he come to Islam and he joined Muslimin with another fight. So in this area uh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam lost his teeth in this area. So, and also more than 70 
uh, uh, more than 70 uh, Sahaba become shaheed in this area because they didn't listen that when Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told them don't come down from this mountain so from this place we can learn about how we have to listen uh, from our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and also there is a place that we can visit uh, Sayyidina Hamza uncle of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also uh, buried here in this area and also there is Jabal Uhud in this area this Jabal called Jabal Uhud special thing of this Jabal that is that the, he moved from the place because of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in this mountain also have a feelings like a human that he love us and we love this mountain and inshallah this mountain will be one of the mountains in Jannah inshallah the moral of the story from this historical site is that we listen to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In this place, more than 70 Sahaba become Shaheed in this area interested in coming for Hajj or Umrah come with Sara International Travels they are ranked number one by Halal Tourism USA one of the most professional agencies we have come across and we hope that Allah Ta'ala give everyone an opportunity to come visit Mecca and Medina Amin. Amin. of Sayyidina Hamza, uncle of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So in this square buried Sayyidina Hamza bin Abdul Muttalib. And whenever you come in this area, you can say this dua. Assalamu alaikum ahl al-diyar min al-muslimin wal-mu'mineen wa inna insha'Allah bikum lillahiqoon. Nas'alallahu lana wa lakum al-afiyah. Maryam Bhutti. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, that was close. That was so uh, it's uh, using for the women that cannot. Uh, you can uh, bring uh, women. <laughs> but then you can use it. You can use it. You can use it. You can use it. Oh, wow. Interesting. <laughs> no, that's actually not a bad. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now we are in Masjid Quba, the first mosque called in Islam, in the first place that Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he came from Mecca to Medina and he stopped in this area. And the special thing of this mosque is whenever uh, you are coming to this mosque, just uh, take a shower from your home and you come to this mosque, you will get Ajr of Umrah when you pray to Raqqa in this mosque. We are inside Masjid Kuba. And do you want to know what this masjid is all about? Well, it is the first Islamic mosque in the entire world. And one of the privilege, if you get to come here, and you pray two rikat nafil, right? Yeah. Uh, you get a equivalent or a ajr of doing umrah. And this is something our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah. Uh, Hadith of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's right. So I pray that every one of you have the opportunity to come and visit Makkah, Madina and this mosque. This is a beautiful mosque. 
it is it, it it throws you back in history that it is the first mosque in the entire world and may Allah give every one of you the opportunity to come visit and pray to the God over here. Asalaamu Alaikum. Also different types. What I have to talk about? Just same thing. Same thing which you said before. Oh, Sabi Berj. Sabi Berj. Assalamualaikum everyone. If you're interested in Hajar Umrah, you can call. No. 